Hello, Miss Taylor's class. We're getting ready to start our next writing unit. And it is research. Today, I want to take you through the lesson, how to write research. You might want to get out your writing journal and make a new chapter. Remember, triangle fold. And this topic is research. What is research? Research is the careful study and investigation for the purpose of discovering and explaining new knowledge. What are the research steps for elementary students? Number one, choose a topic. Number two, search for information. Number three, organize information. Number four, share information, write an essay. First, in order to write about research, you must do research. Now, what are we going to use? Books, online resources, maybe even some articles. What could we research? Hmm. What could we research? Let's think. Well, animals. That's what our topic is. Did you guess before I showed it to you? Well, let's see what we can use if we're doing our research. We could use graphic organizer. Research to writing, graphic organizer. You can see we'll have our topic sentence, fact in your own words, another fact in your own words, and a closing sentence, or you know we know that is it with another word, conclusion. Information writers try different structures on for size. Here's some things that we're going to try, and you probably know some of these already. Boxes and bullets, yeah. Causes and effects. Problems and solutions. Pros and cons, compare and contrast. Teaching moves that information writers should borrow. Explain what the whole book will be about. Tell a bit about the big things you'll teach, kind of like a table of contents. Try to say at least a few sentences about each of your topics. Talk like an expert. Use fancy words and explain what they mean. Use your hands and your body or make quick sketches to show what things look like. Ways to add your information writing. You can have examples, you could compare, show something that's important or numbers, or maybe shapes or observations, tips, steps, colors, names, or maybe even give definitions. Now, the next slide is gonna be super important, third graders. We're gonna have a pre-assessment next week when we come back from our break. I want you to be thinking about what you want to write about for your pre-assessment. Let's take a look. Next writing class, you will have a pre-assessment. Think of a topic that you've studied or that you know a lot about. Next class, you will have 45 minutes to write an informational or all about text that teaches others interesting and important information and ideas about that topic. If you want to find and use information from a book or another outside source to help you with this writing, you may bring that with you next class. Please keep in mind that you'll only have 45 minutes to complete this. You will only have this one period, so you'll need to plan, draft, revise, and edit in one sitting. Write in a way that shows all that you know about information writing. Remember, third graders, you're going to be writing information. That's true. That's nonfiction information. Think about what you know and what you could teach others. In your writing, make sure you have. You might want to write this in your journal. 
so you're ready for the next time. First bullet, write an introduction. Second bullet, elaborate with a variety of information. Third bullet, organize your writing. Fourth bullet, use transition words. And fifth bullet, write a conclusion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's been awesome. So the next time we get together, you're going to be able to share your information. So what are you going to do for the rest of our writing time today? Well, let's free write. I want you to pick a topic. Start to write. When we finish, we can share what we've wrote, written about. All right, writers, off you go.